I am pleased to welcome you to this village of Lightmansaw, which is located in Malim Community and Rural Development Block in East Kasi Hills District of the state of Meghalaya. I am proud to introduce you to this village for the reason that this village has become a model for the rest of the country and the rest of the state for various reasons. And one of the reasons is that although the village is a small village, having only around 45 numbers of families, they have been able to make themselves a village that has attained a very high standards of cleanliness and sanitation in individual level and also at the community level. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Switchborn Marwen and I'm a proud member of this village, Light Misao village. It's very interesting to note that the people in this village in particular has already have that kind of inborn thought of how to keep the villages clean. It's there in the culture, it's there in the habit, it's a tradition for them to maintain the cleanliness in the own houses, in the compounds, as well as in the surrounding. So this has been a very contributing factor to what the village has been able to attain to this standard of cleanliness as it is now. Ang hang ni school ni hikay kena kumlo begin ban penon kami ki toilet ban kumlo begin tet kti ban kilatip kumlo ban lek ho kum juru hang ni hasnong changi ki bere kilatip kumlo ban penon kami ki panchana kumlo ban lek ho hasnong hatao te ka jingwan jong ka swatch bharat mission kala long ka jingmen to yangi kum kinong song song bat kala ai ka jing hikay yangi kumno bang inang ban lek ho but ningkong e ka bang kongsan ka long ba nginang ban ba ngilet shaban ngilet panthana hapo ki panthana o ngilet shabar shaki klau ki shaki klau shaki jaka ki bom dei ban ba ngilet but kumjo ru ka ai ka hikai ningkong swaya nga kumno bang nang ban hikai ila ki jong ki khon ki kti bin long ki bale khoi bin ngin yo ya ka jingkot jingkhia ka ba bit ka ba กัดบังกัดบังกันนี่ก็สวัสดิ์บาร์ดกัมปัดวันฮากาจิงล่องจิงมันจงกาอิมลังสะลังฮากาชนงกะทาวกมุดกะดันชิบวนกีกีจิง
through very dedicated effort of the team of our volunteers. And in fact, we even have volunteers within the community. In a very short time after our intervention, the village came together, they decided, they passed a resolution that they'll have to redo the kind of toilets that they were having at the time by converting the toilets into a safe toilets. I am Don Kuparwar, Chief Engineer, PhD Environment and Sanitation, also functioning as Mission Director, Swachh Bharat Gameen, Meghalaya. Swachh Bharat Mission objective is for behavioral change and to ensure sustainability of the efforts put in under the program, the state of Meghalaya has attained open defecation free in the year 2018 under Swachh Bharat Grameen Phase 1. As on date, we are moving towards Swachh Bharat Mission Phase 2. Under Phase 2 of Swachh Bharat Mission Grameen, the new objective is to transform all ODF villages into ODF plus villages by ensuring that these villages sustain their ODF status, including all individual households, schools, Anganwadi centers, village darbars, community centers, marketplaces also should have access to functional toilet facilities. And they should have arrangement to manage solid waste as well as liquid waste. Also, the village should be visually clean. That is, the village is observed to have minimal litter, minimal stagnant water, and no plastic waste dump. Then, the village should display, should have the display of ODF plus IEC messages on usage of toilets, solid and liquid waste management, plastic waste management at prominent places. And finally, the goal is to have all 6,128 ODF villages in the state to achieve the ODF plus status at the earliest. a program at that time which is called a total sanitation campaign. During that uh, program we are going villages to villages just to promote the kind of well-being of the people by adopting proper methods and proper habits of uh, sanitation and mainly the use of toilets. So our observation at that time prior to 2012 uh, we could see that this village had appeared as a village that had stopped open defecation. Why? Because in each and every house there are toilets. But when going inside the village, going inside the houses and seeing the kind of toilets that they were having at that time, we could understand that there was a wrong notion that people were having about toilets. Uh, toilets has to be safe, toilets has to be sanitary, and toilets has to be a facility that should not contaminate the water bodies, that should contaminate the environment. But we could see that the toilets they were having at that time were in fact unsafe toilets. They were just an enclosure, it was just a room, but the waste that were there were just dumped in into an open pit. So it's just a single pit, it's just a sing an open pit toilet. So that Trigger a mine as a team that works for promotion of sanitation. We thought that this is an area where we have to intervene. So our intervention is to promote the use of safe toilets. Of course, they were having 
housing for the toilets, very good proper toilets at that time. Some houses are even constructing very costly toilets at the, at the time. That, they were not constructed near the houses, but they were constructed a bit far from, from the house. Why? Because people were saying that the toilet should not be near the house. So this is a second observation that we thought we should make an intervention by people having a very, no, very wrong notion of the toilet. So we started our exercise in this village. We started what we call at that time a community-led total sanitation approach where in the entire community were being involved, the entire community were being the center of the discussion. And during that triggering exercise, we tried to expose to the people the danger of having an unsafe toilet, the danger of having going to the forest for defecation, the danger of security of the people, the concern of decency and dignity of the people, so we started to raise these kinds of issues and make people realize and thinking that what they had been doing earlier was not really a very, a very proper way of doing the, the things at that time. So we were talking about the people who 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 were talking bangin bangin lai da da uslap da kal air but jaka bangin lai sha klaw sha lum sha wa han ring layo mo hai 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 sem mo kum ieng ka bangin la mon ka la long ka burom pat ka jing suk yang ni kan bangin yo ban lai ha ko tu ka hai tu i jaka i bangin la sna kerpang na ka benta jungi kam tam ban ngi long ka i long don burom mo yangi kin thai hapo snong po tha mo yangi kham tam yangi kin thai bangi yo ban ban ngimlong kumun shwa bangi le shabar pathar kum to nrei minta ngi la yo ba jaki hai jaka iblas na karpang kum ieng ban ngi la yo ban le hang to kla long ka jing ker khu bat ka jing mentoi ka bakhraw yangi earlier we do have toilets but that was not safe enough but then when this mission came and the team they taught us how to Built a proper toilets and a proper sanitation. Te na kaliang chong i kum kasinong barok kawei ngi ai kublay kerpang na kabenta kini ki news na po puni kiblawan wan poisok poisan yan kasinong kachong i. Te na kaliang chong i kum kasinong barok kawei ngi penpao kiting sungu i kaswat subharat mission kabala ai sibun kiting arab nam takasinong kathao kachong i kabang iyo ban snai ki panghana kabang iyo ban snai kini ki sukpit Eki kompos tang kabalon ra ka chimun toi ka bakrao ya ka chinong ka thao ya ka khoi ka soba ya ka chinong ka thao ro ka wei bat kham tam ka wan ra ya ka ching ko ching khia ha ka chinong ka thao hi ba ro ka wei te kom ta ka ching ra cho ka swat chbar mission ya ka ni ka ya ka ni ki skim ha ka chinong ka chong i kalalong ka ching ker khoi ka bakrao na kom ta ki nong song chinong ba ro ka wei te ka khu bor ka bang i kom ki nong song chinong i don ban ai ka long ba ngi kerpat ya Paro ki para sinong para tao ki bodon hapok ka chela ka chong i ba kin sim yang di kalat chong ka chong yarap ka bakso ka ra ka ai ka nang ba ka non ra ka ching khoi ka ching soba ba ka ching koi ching khia ya ka sinong ka tao ba ya ka chela hi ba ro ka wei to si si miang i pen pao ka ching sok men ka bak rao ka bang i yo ba nyedon kum ni ka sinong chong i pala i men sao te na ka liang chong na kum sketri chong ka ni ka komiti ni judon ka ching ya trailang na ka na ka banta banon ra ya ka khoi ka suba ha ka chinong ka thao ba ro ka wei da ka ching ya a simtilang ka ching ya trailang chong ki pai ba nong song song ba ro ni don ka ching ya su thu ching mot lang na ka ni ka bwc komiti rengkat bat ki nong song song ba ro ba ngi non ra ya ka chinong ka ba khoi ka suba hang ni ya chinong chong i Baro ka wei ba ka ching sim bantai ka ni ka long hi na do ki ba rit ha do ki ba hai ki ba san ni baro si sinong ngi don ka ta ka ching ya long sitli ka ching long ka wei na ka banta ban wan ra yang ni ka ching khoi ka ching soba ha ka sinong ka thao chong ngi baro ka wei nga sngo komen ma ayo ki ni ki pan khana ka long ki ching yarap ya ka yeng ka sem ko chong nga te ngi la lat ka le cha pathar si ki khlaw ki patap ka 
Tak dah kencing don jang ini, hai orang lalat tak kelap, tak kel air. Tak kalau kencing mentoi kan, yang ini kencing kesem. Tak tangkum tak ini. Under the provisions of the, the guidelines of Swatch Bharat Mission, there is a financial incentive that can be awarded to villages for construction of toilets. And this village, like Mansau village also, had availed the incentives under Swatch Bharat Mission. Earlier to that, it was Nirmal Bharat Abhiyan, where individual families have been given an incentive of 6,000 rupees for construction of a proper and a safe toilet. But out of 6,000, the contribution from the government is 5,100, and the family has to contribute an additional amount of 900 rupees. But we have seen with that amount of incentive amounting to 6, thousand rupees, the toilets that were being built by the families are far, far more better than what it's expected to be. Uh, they have even spent from their own pocket additional amount of about six to seven thousand from their own pocket to construct a proper toilet, a decent toilet, as you can see in this. This is a toilet, this is a model toilet that has been constructed under financial incentive under Swatch Bharat Mission. Uh, the purpose of ensuring, the purpose of asking the, the families to contribute an amount of 900 rupees against a government incentive of 5,100 rupees is one way to ensure that people have a sense of ownership and having a sense of ownership, it will also ensure that people will maintain the toilets and maintaining the toilets will ensure the sustainability of the works. It will ensure the sustainability of the program and it will ensure that the living conditions of the people as far as health, hygiene and sanitation is concerned is taken to a higher level from day to day and time to time. Kan nuksa mo, ba ngin ay ka jing hikay siya kiway mo, ba hamtam ba ngitip kung ka siyong jongi, ka doon ka jaka jong okay, ba ngin pinii siya kiway ba kin nampret patar, ya ki plastik lani, ya kinukinu ki baki ki nang wan jong okay, ki wan ra, ba ba kin habang ilakbo iki jaka, ba ng bret iki nyut, ki di ba ng bret hakitu ki jaka, ki bang ilakbo, ba ba kin kin habi ki let shabar kin let hakitu ki jaka ki banging lashna nakabentar jongki bakin let shabar nakabentar jongki the community took it very sincerely for this mission and with the help of subsidies and our contribution all 50 households are having toilets contribution from the government uh, involves creation of assets and infrastructures in this village but the point of concern as a continuity of the effort is how to sustain and maintain the sustainability of the works. And for that purpose, we try to make ensure that capacity building of the people uh, is ensured in this village. So for that purpose, all along the entire process, we, we ensure that the people of the village have given a proper understanding of the concept of sanitation and for that purpose we are trying to ensure that at each and every moment we are engaging with the people, we are trying to get people participation, people community involvement and for that purpose all the time we are always interacting and communicating with important leaders of the village, important persons in the village and we have persons whom we used to call them natural leaders. So these natural leaders are persons like the village headman, the village water sanitation secretary, the Asha worker, the Anganwadi worker, the school teachers. So these are the main person to carry forward the efforts of the government, to sustain the effort of the government 
And these are the person to ensure that sustainability is there in the village for years to come. Namar kabang ha kabang kasinong kanang banlek hood kibriw hang kasinong gila nang banlek hood kalong gaburo may kasinong hibaro kowe. Cleanliness is now is the way of life as a villagers, and it has become also the identity of the village. Kani kani pa ikhna jo phi sumar ko jaka. That means this is your toilet, so keep it clean. Kani kani kamera jisso. That means this is a peaceful room in Kasi. The message we wanted to put across as a story in sanitation movement in the entire country and particularly in the villages of the state and the country as a whole is that this movement of sanitation should continue for years to come. Mm -hmm.